after the Black Death, where I think 35% of Europe died, suddenly peasants realized that they were valuable. And also you had um, knights who had previously, you know, if you are the, um, the, big, the big baron and I'm merely a knight, you know, you would have granted me my house and I would have had to given you my night service, you know, like having a job, like having a job. But then uh, the, the knights who were any good could go to Italy and become, join what was called a company. <laughs> and the big one was called the White Company. Uh, run by an Englishman, and they sold themselves because they were experts. They didn't. They they didn't. Uh, so I think it's not quite the same, is it, Thierry? But it. I think there are echoes of you know. Then the the institution was the monarchy and the church, and they controlled everything. And today it's the corporate institution and the large government bureaucracy. They're going to fight, but they're going to lose. So if you look at the last piece here, it's about capitalism itself, I think. Um, if you are Marriott Hotels, uh, the amount of capital that you have to have invested in your business is very large. Uh, you don't own the real estate. You usually have investment partners who do that, but you pay all the wages, right? And you pay all the you pay all the bills to run all the hotels. In the old days, you used to own the hotels as well, but it's still it's a vast amount of capital. So what Airbnb is really doing is uh, they've got none of those costs at all, none, none of those costs at all, and their marketing costs are less as well. So with a real network. With a real net, which is about aggregating a, you know, all the nodes, it's creating a system that people can fit into. The, that's the new capitalism, because it's really based on social capital. 